A lot of people are interested in a uh, voltage doubling circuit or rectifiers for doubling your voltage. For my application, I'm using it to increase the voltage to my wind turbine. I research uh, quite a bit on the internet and on YouTube. I have come across basically two. I'm sure there are many different ones. I still have a little bit of questions. They actually might be the same. Uh, these are the two that I come across with. This one is done by, let me see here, this one is done by a British fellow on YouTube. I forgot his name. He's a very amiable guy and basically this, these two are the capacitors. They're put in series and then um, the positive to this capacitor here is linked with the DC positive and the negative here is linked with the DC negative. So you have positive here, negative here, and this is connected in series, positive to the negative of the other capacitor, and then this is the DC uh, positive side. This is where the AC comes in. The other voltage doubler that I got was from at lens. This is the AC coming in and then he places the capacitor here, the positive connected here and the negative here and then the, this side the negative and then to the positive and the one that I had well, my windmill had an AC coming in like this. I think this is the usual way the capacitor is connected to smooth out the voltage. Instead of using a smaller capacitor like this, I am thinking of using a big capacitor like this with a positive. With a positive, this is the cap. The positive would be connected to the positive and the negative of the cap will be connected to the negative. In this instance I don't think the voltage would be doubled because I'm just using one capacitor here and I think the energy from the windmill from the stator will be stored in the big cap and it won't be wasted. So this is the smaller one that I took out from the from my sister's broken LCD TV. This is a big one. I'm sure it's more dangerous because it's much higher capacity. So this is what I want to experiment with my windmill using different capacitors and different ways of connecting the capacitors. Please feel free to comment and give me suggestions because I really don't know much except from what I watch on YouTube and on the internet. Thank you.